Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gaming with me, Tony Mo, and welcome to the very first episode in my Titanfall build series. In this series, we'll be taking a look at some custom loadouts that I've designed and come up with inside of Titanfall, both on the pilot side as well as the Titan side of things. In each episode, we will be featuring a pair, a set, one Titan and one pilot loadout. For today's set, we have the Sapper pilot loadout and the Hunter Titan loadout. Let's go ahead and kick it off by taking a look at what's actually inside of the Sapper pilot loadout. As you can see here, we're running a primary weapon. We have the Car SMG. It's a medium range submachine gun. It's one of the later on SMGs. When you're running the game a little bit earlier on, if you're low level, you can supplement this with a, you know, another SMG with the starting SMG. You could even run it with the Hemlock or maybe even the Car Mine. The primary weapon isn't really important. I just found that the Car SMG does what it, what I wanted to do at close range and even to medium range, and it does it very well. It has a lot of stopping power. With that counterweight, it's going to allow you to hip fire very effectively, making it a really great tool for actually engaging targets while wall running or wall hanging, since you will no longer be able to engage with your iron sights or your red dot system. Again, I am running iron sights on this. You can run the red dot if you want to. Early on, of course, you'll be running the iron sights because you'll have to unlock the red dot. So either way, the primary in this class is pretty much interchangeable, but again, I think the car really fits what you're going to be doing with this class once we get a little bit further in the build. So moving on, we can take a look at our anti-Titan weapon. We have the Mag Launcher, which fires magnetic grenades. It fires five rounds. I find that this is a lot better for doing quick damage and getting the hell out of dodge. This is really a class that's about engaging the Titans at a very close distance. And with something like the Sidewinder that has 30 rounds that you have to dump out before you can really do any amount of damage, you're going to be exposed for much too long or you're going to have to do multiple ambushes where the Mag Launcher really is a powerful tool at finishing off low level health low health titans uh, of course we have our trusty sidearm the b3 wingman just a really great all-around high-powered revolver that can pull off some pretty sick headshots and is going to be a very effective tool at close range which is again where you're going to be spending most of your time with this class moving on to our tactical ability and our ordnance these are two of the key elements of this build we have the cloak and the satchel charge we're also running an explosive pack which gives us one extra satchel charge these are the tools that you're going to be using to engage titans on foot this is a great loadout for when your titan is down or maybe you just want to hold off on your titan or even if you're somebody who likes to play with your titan on auto it's going to allow you to be extremely effective against other titans while still remaining on foot as your pilot that cloak is going to allow you to get in close plant those satchel charges dish out initial damage to help drain the shield of the enemy titan and then finish them off with the mag launcher and if you're feeling a little bit just a little bit a uh, little bit crazy you can also use your Warfall Transmitter to call in your Titan that you've been sitting on for so long to do some serious drop-in damage on an unexpecting Titan or maybe an unexpected group of players. The other thing that's great about this class is you can also really use it as a booster class to get to your Titan even quicker. The Satchel Charges are really great for taking out large amounts of Grunts. Jump one of those on the ground in the center of a group of Grunts, you're probably going to get almost all of them with one Satchel Charge. Of course, going around the map, doing that all over the different points of the map where you have Grunt Inspectors, that's really going to cut down your Titan time and allow you to call it in even quicker. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second half of this loadout, and that is the Hunter Titan loadout. So inside of our Hunter Titan loadout, I've basically designed this Titan loadout to be the ultimate pilot hunting machine. It's the perfect complement to the sap, Sapper, in my opinion, because the Sapper is all about hunting Titans. The Titan loadout here over the Hunter is all about hunting pilots. It's very, very good at it. For this thing, for this class, we're running the Ogre chassis, which of course has the core ability of a shield core, really allowing you to stay in the fight for that much longer, and essentially just be a really, uh, I guess you would say, endurance-based Titan. It's going to allow you to almost stay on the battlefield as long as you want if you're good enough with the Titan. Over on the weapon side of things, we're running the Arc Cannon. One of the great things about the Arc Cannon, apart from it being able to zap across multiple targets, is that it is actually very effective at long range, and it is very, very good at pinpoint precision targeting on those sneaky, sneaky pilots trying to climb through the rooftops and through the walls and the buildings and all of that. I've had a lot of really great kills with this thing, and it's probably my favorite weapon in the game, just for the pure shock factor of completely obliterating and insta-giving an enemy titan or an enemy pilot into one giant pink cloud of mist with electricity. Again, the fact that it zaps across multiple targets is going to allow you to take down specters and grunts very quickly. You can also take down multiple pilots if you happen to find two of them running a little bit too close to each other. On the defensive side of things, we're going to be using the electric smoke system. I find that this is a great tool for something like the ogre that doesn't actually have that much speed or dodge capability. You can really kind of take the offensive with this class when you're playing with the over and kind of try and play mind tricks with the enemy. Really be the aggressor, go in close, dump smoke, pull out, use your arc cannon, and just generally play a lot of mix-up tactics. Again, 
the ogre isn't very quick at moving across the map, so you're going to have to do a lot of damage. You're going to have to do it quickly, or you're going to have to make use of proper cover on the map. On the ordnance signs of things, we're using the multi-target missile system. This again adds to that whole sort of mind games factor. The great thing about the multi-target missile system is that you can actually paint a certain number of missiles on your opponent. Now, if somebody happens to be using something like the shield ability, you're going to be able to outsmart them by maybe only locking on one missile, shooting it at their at their uh, shield, letting them deflect that back at you, of course, just dodging it, it's one missile, while in the meantime, already charging up the rest of your painted missiles, firing them off to get a ton of great damage. Over on the kit side of things, we have the dash quick charger. Again, the ogre isn't very quick, it only has one dash bar, so getting that dash bar refilled as quickly as possible is gonna be extremely beneficial to how you navigate the map, as well as to your survival. And then we have over on the survivor side of things, the ability for your titan to degrade slower when it's actually doomed. Again, allowing you just to stay on the battlefield a lot longer. Put both of these classes together and you have two very powerful killing machines when used properly. They're two of my favorite loadouts that I've come up with in the game so far, and I'm a big, big fan of them. Let me know what you guys think of them in the comment section below. Give them a whirl if you're playing Titanfall, and let me know what sort of loadouts you would see you'd like to see featured in the next episode. We could go Pretty much anyway, I have a lot of different loadouts, but you know, the core elements, sniper, tank, damage dealer, let me know roughly what you would like to see in the next video in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. You're unstoppable.